Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in this week's video, I'm showing you how to make your very own DIY highlighter stick for all over the body. This is a highlighting body butter stick that will leave your skin glowing and moisturized. It is super easy to make and beginner friendly. Want to see how I make this highlighter stick? Keep watching. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into these ingredients. We have our digital scale. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and we are going to go ahead and start measuring out our ingredients for our body butter shimmer glow stick. So I already turned on my scale. I'm gonna go ahead and tear the scale so it is now set to zero. So the first ingredient that we're going to be using is Papuasu butter. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out 0.94 ounces of Kapawasu butter. So this is my Kapawasu butter here. And the thing I love about Kapawasu butter is that it is an excellent emollient. It does help restore the elasticity of the skin. It is rich in antioxidants. It's also very hydrating to the skin. And of course, it moisturizes the skin without leaving a greasy filling. So that's why Kapawasu butter is an excellent choice for our body butter glow stick. So let's move on to our next ingredient. The next ingredient that we're going to be using is shea butter. So I'm measuring out 0.6 ounces of shea butter. So a little bit about shea butter. It is an excellent moisturizer. Shea butter can be actually used all over the body. So shea butter is excellent for the entire body as well as the face. Um, it helps to lubricate the skin and it creates a barrier that actually holds moisture in the skin. So that's why I love shea butter. So the next ingredient that we're going to be using is sunflower oil. So I'm going to measure out 1.5 six to ounces of sunflower oil. So guys, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So now we have our sunflower oil. So sunflower oil is um, excellent for the skin. It's very hydrating for the skin. It helps protect and soothe the skin. Um, it's also been said that sunflower oil can help reduce fine lines. So if you have a mature skin, then sunflower oil is excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to tear the scale and now I'm going to sit my bowl on top of my scale for my beeswax. So if you don't want to use beeswax, you can always use candelillo wax. That's an excellent substitute for beeswax. And for my beeswax, I'm measuring 0.8 ounces of beeswax. So I almost feel like making body butter sticks is very similar to making lip balm. And I have made videos where I make lip balm. So if you have not seen those, I will drop a link in the description box below. These are the beeswax pestles. Let's move on to our next ingredient. Now that we've measured out our beeswax, the next ingredient we're going to measure out is our vitamin E. So vitamin E is our antioxidant. I'm going to be measuring out 0.02 ounces of vitamin E. And now we have our 0.2 ounces of vitamin E. So this next ingredient that I'm going to be measuring out is something I love. So this is a fragrance and I picked this fragrance up from Brambleberry. This is not a sponsored video. However, I do love this fragrance and I did get this fragrance as part of a package that I ordered from them and I did a video. I will place the video link above if you want to check the video out um, where I did an unboxing of several products that I got. Uh, from Brambleberry. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out 0.2 ounces of the Camellia Sugar. This is the fragrance that I'm going to be using in this Body Butter Shimmer Glow Stick.
I have my fragrance and it is not a lot, but it is enough to give my body butter glow stick a nice sweet smell. So the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and mix in all of our ingredients. So I'm going to move my scale to the side and this beaker is what I'm going to melt all of my butters, oils, and my waxes in. So let's go ahead and mix all of our ingredients together. So the first ingredient we're going to pop into the beaker is our kapawasu butter. Next we're going to put in our shea butter. Then we're going to go ahead and put in our beeswax. And lastly, we're going to put in our sunflower oil. So now we're just going to take all of our ingredients and then we're going to melt them on low heat in a water bath. And I will be back after all of our butters, oils, and waxes are melted. So now that my butters and oils are mixed together, I'm going to go ahead and add in my fragrance oil and stir it in. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in my vitamin E. I'm going to go ahead and add in my sparkly rose gold mica, as well as my pearlescent mica. So I'm going to add in about an eighth of a teaspoon of each of these colors. And now with my milk frother, I'm going to go ahead and mix the mica into the oils and waxes. And now that all of my ingredients are mixed together, I'm going to go ahead and place my mixture in my little container for my highlighter. And now I'm just going to place these in the fridge so that they can harden up pretty quickly. So if you don't have a stick container, you can also use this Body Butter Shimmer Glow in a jar. So I'm just going to pour the remainder that I had in a jar. I did fill up two jars. And you can use a small spatula like this to remove it when you're ready to use it if you use a container like this. So this recipe makes four ounces of the Body Butter Shimmer Glow Stick. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Products that I use can be found in the description box below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!